Okay, it's not really over. Let's kill this Pikachu now. The dream is dead. I'm using Bill Nye to earthquake it out of existence. Yes! Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill! 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 He's not going to explain why that's bullshit. Consider the following. You're about to die. Yeah, if I did if I didn't like edits on here, I would totally add my every time Bill like KO to Pokemon, you just hear Bill! 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 No, every time he comes out, that's what you hear. And then when he and then when he does a move, you would say, Consider the following. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. But funny enough, I actually used to watch Bill Nye the Science Guy. I did. I liked Bill Nye the Science Guy, dude. Um, he used to come on real, real early in the morning. Yep. Like when I before I went to school, it was on at like five in the morning. It's basically the '90s equivalent of Mr. Wizard. Which is a show you probably don't remember. Nope. Um, that was a show from uh, the 80s. I wasn't but... born yet. <laughs> yeah, but they played it... Um, they used to play it real early in the morning in the 90s as well. On Nickelodeon. Such a lose. I think, wow. I think the show was called Hey Mr. Wizard or something like that. Um, it's been so long since I've seen it, so I don't remember if it was any good. I just remember it came on real early. Oh. Well, I defeated the meme, the meme man. Can't believe I made a reference to that in this game. How dare they? These are the things that make me lose my will to live. That's a bit extreme. Slowly but surely. I repeat, <laughs> it's a bit extreme, don't you think? Why do we even bother? You're right. There's no hope. Soon the whole world will be like Russia. Soon the whole world will be like Doge meme. <laughs> Everyone will just say wow. All the time. Wow, such double slap. Many sandstorm. Wow. Fuck yo memes. I must say, I don't really have anything against the dog meme, honestly. I don't have anything against the dog meme. I have a thing against forcing memes into video games. Yeah, that's a thing. It's one thing if it's like an Easter egg. Well, even even the actual Pokemon games are getting like are doing that shit now. Well, with the over nine thousand person in um fucking um in X and Y. Well, not even that, but like their own memes. Like, how many times do we got to reference the guy who likes shorts? Yeah, that's like the only one of the only things they have. And they and they and they referenced him in, I think they referenced him in uh, the first gen, second gen. He was in the third gen because of Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, in fourth gen for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Fifth gen they had a reference to him, and I'm sure they got one in sixth gen. I think they do actually. So this Cobotops is fucking Mega Drain. Like Cobotops with a Mega Drain. Yeah, and it almost killed Jack. Doesn't seem That's right actually, to me. That doesn't seem right, but it actually is pretty good type coverage. Kabutops is four times weak to uh, grass as well, so... It's definitely something to consider. Well, we have defeated Cool Trainer Jared. Now I can get back to promoting subs for Subway. You're just 
just reminding me that I'm hungry. <laughs> just as planned. I'm not getting my sweet on chicken teriyaki today. There's a shitload of police out here. What the fuck? Let's see what's going on with them. They've already paid you for the job. It's your duty to clear out the mines and desert of this monster. Oh, the mines. That's where you gotta, uh... The mines are where you find, like, ghost Pokemon and shit, so... Might be time to consider a new party member. You can even keep the Mega Stone involved in the job. We don't care as long as you get the job done. There's a Mega Stone involved. We gotta steal that shit. Yeah, the cop, the cops aren't wanting to do it because they're all corrupt. Mm. Oh no, it wasn't the cops. It was Team Cipher. Oh, Cipher are um. Cipher's from uh, the Ori region. Apparently, a Steelix has been digging around through tunnels in the desert. Oh god, am I gonna have to fight a Mega Steelix? Maybe. And you will enjoy it. I think the only thing about Mega Steelix is that it, it changes from a uh, steel rock type to, or a steel ground type to a steel uh, fire type. And all its rock moves are now fire moves. Which actually oh, shit. can also hurt it in the long run. Now that I think about it. Oh god, what's happening? Oh no, the game's gonna crash! Gavin saves in like... Oh my god. It didn't crash, thank fuck. Oh, you better, I'm... Sa you better save now! <laughs> I'll save now! <laughs> I made it to the next city, so I'm gonna go heal my team here, and then head towards the mines. And the mines are in the southwest corner of the desert. First, let's explore this city. A tamed TM-85 Dream Eater. Ooh. If you had something with hypnosis, that would have been actually really good. Yep. That's not even a joke, either. Dream Eater is uh, actually a really good move. The only problem is you have to be asleep in order for it to work. Yeah. Just talking to all the people in this town it's because we made it here. Uh, apparently the battery of the laptop is low. Well, probably because the charger fell out. That would explain a lot. Well, there we go. Fix that problem. So apparently, one of the trophies in this game is to fight all the fucking prime bosses twice. Oh, I'm in the mines. Alright, here we go. And we got neck fat first up. Alright, um... And with a Torterra. And a pretty beefy one at that, level 41. Oh, you're already getting to those kind of levels? Yeah. Oh, fuck, East Earthquake. Oh, Ace got fucking wrecked. Holy shit. 
I don't know why you would have him out in front with a Torterra anyway. Because I was going to see if I could destroy it with Flame Wheel. Torterra, isn't that the fucking turtle? Yeah. Why would you try to destroy it with a Flame Wheel? It's four times resistant. It made a super effective sound noise. This thing's a Torterra grass type. Oh, I'm thinking of the fucking... I'm thinking oh. of something else. I'm thinking of the fucking... The fossil Pokemon from Gen 5. Yeah, no. Not the that frickin', thing. That frickin' turtle. This is not the turtle you're looking for. Yeah, Torterra is the fucking the grass uh, starter for Gen 4, which is also part ground type. Here comes Claydol. Claydol is a uh, psychic type uh, ground psychic. Yeah, it's dead. Never used one, but I don't really want to either, so. Okay, strat uh wild Pokemon in here. You can find uh Sableye, Graveler, Onyx, uh Dwebble, Yamask, Bronzor, Bulldor, uh, and the very rare Pokemon are uh Dino and Gibble. Hmm. Anything you recommend I pick up out of those? I guess he's going. What a faggot. What now? I said anything you recommend out of those, like, to get that um, last, last slot? For experimentation's sake, your mask might not be a bad idea. It's that ghost type I was telling you about. Ah. Um, but besides that, nothing? D uh, Dano is a dark dragon type. Ooh. Uh, but it's very rare, and it's one. And actually, I think its final evolution is even higher than most. Is it a good Pokemon? It's the pseudo-legendary of Gen 5. Would you recommend it? Um, let me look it up. I've never used one. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's rough. It evolves into Zoelia starting at level 50. Once again, that's not too bad considering the opponents are in the fucking... in the 40s already. Yeah, but that's the, that's the second stage. Oh. When does the third stage come in at? 64. Is it good, I, though? Let me look at its stats for its final evolution. Um, I mean, it's a pseudo-legendary, so it's probably good. Okay, um... That's kind of... It's a mixed attacker, but more special attack. Um, not the best special attack I've seen in the, in the world. 125, which is okay. Uh, hey, it, okay, okay, so it's it is in front of me right now. You f you caught a you found a wild one. Yeah. Catch it. Even if you don't use it, it's rare. Yeah. Um. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh my god, it's got like no life left. Who knows, I might use it. Let me check its actual moveset here. I also have to consider the following. I might run out of Ultra Balls before I catch it. Oh, I got nine left. 
Well, on the plus side, uh, since it doesn't evolve until I caught it. 50, you caught it? Yeah. All right, well, on the plus side, it's going to learn most of its good moves before it even evolves. Oh, well, okay, let's assume we're using it as a party member. What's its nickname? Well, it, it turns into a three-headed dragon monster. So I'm thinking Ghidorah. Spell King that. Ghidorah. Uh, hold on, let me, uh, <laughs> find the spelling here. But you know who King Ghidorah is, right? Nope. He's the, uh, he's one of the monsters from Godzilla. Oh, I haven't seen a lot of the Godzilla movies. Okay, Ghidorah is spelled G-H-I-D-O-R-A-H. Alright. King Ghidorah doesn't fit, so I can tell you right now, so... Well, just Ghidorah should work. Yep. Um, since we got what we need, and I could have a full party here, um, I'm going to max a pellet up, and we're going to head back into town. We're going to go spend some money on some more max repels. All right, well, and... before we uh, do any of that, you should check your dino. Uh, what What is its moveset currently and its oh, level? Yes, yes. It is 24. Okay, and its current moveset is? Um, bite, Headbutt, Dragon Breath, and Roar. Well, at level 25, he's going to learn Crunch. So you're going to get rid of Bite. Yep. So I see what, okay, um, his ability is Hustle. Boosts the attack stat, but lowers accuracy. Boosts the attack stat, but lowers accuracy. Okay, let me, um, let me check, uh, and see if he can learn any other abilities. Just in um, case if you got the shaft or not. And we'll see if we can find another one, because considering it was only the second Pokemon we encountered, they can't be nearly as rare as Batang. Okay, um, that is the only ability it learns. Oh, well, I guess I'm stuck with it then. Does its ability change when it evolves? Um, let me check. Because I know that's a uh, thing. What, its final form gets levitate. Okay, so we know that will be helpful. Now let me check Zuelius. Or Zuelius. Uh, it also has hustle. Okay, so basically it's hustle until levitate. I mean, I think I got a pretty good team here with that thing, though. Yeah, and um, let me look at uh, Dano's move pool here real quick. Because uh, I know you're going to get crunch next, but looking at its move pool will tell you actually like what you should probably teach this thing. I'm going to have uh, to get the damn um, max repels. Oh, well. Okay, um... After, at level 28, it's going to learn Slam. Okay. At level 32, it's going to learn Dragon Pulse. Uh, okay. Which is good. Yes. Uh, level 38, it's going to learn Work Up. At level 42, it's going to learn Dragon Rush. At level 48, it's going to learn Body Slam. Sounds like it has some pretty good moves. It does. And let's check its TMs, what it can learn. Because if it's... Because it's dragon Pokemon, usually they can learn some pretty good shit. This is true, this is true. Okay, as of right now, um, some moves it can learn. Uh, if you have a TM for these, you might want to consider uh, teaching them. Okay, let me look at some good ones. Okay, it can't really learn dick as a... As a, <laughs> as a <you> know. <laughs> You can learn Incinerate as a fire move, but not very good for uh, right now. Let me check yeah. uh, its final evolution, because maybe then it can start learning some really good ones. Oh, yeah, uh, that's when it can learn, like, Flamethrower and Fire Blast and Focus Blast and Charge Beam and it becomes Stone a Edge fucking, and Bulldoze. It becomes a badass, is that what you're saying? Yeah, once it fully evolves, it becomes it, it becomes a much better Pokemon. It can even learn Surf and Fly. Damn. Jack is trying to learn Muddy Water. What's its full moveset right now? Ice Beam, Earthquake, Surf, and Secret Power. Goodbye, Secret Power. 
Yeah, goodbye secret power. Muddy water is basically like a not as powerful version of surf. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I remember that now. I also, I'm not sure if it has a secondary effect as well. It might have a, it might have a secondary effect, but I could be wrong. Fuck, you forget Suda Wudo, even though it's a fucking tree thing, it's not actually weak to fire. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's not grass at all, it's, it's a rock type. Yeah, it confuses me though, because I keep forgetting that. Prior to Generation 4, it was the signature move of Marsh Stomp and Swampert. Um, Muddy Water inflicts damage and has a 30% chance of lowering accuracy. Yeah, it is dead just now. Nice. Nice. Uh, Muddy Water hits both opposing Pokemon in double battles. Um, I guess without... Oh, they fucking... Ew. Ew. In Gen 6, they lowered its power. I guess it was too broken for them. But, uh, because it's a, it's a 95 power move. Oh. In, uh, in, uh, Gen, in Gen 3 through Gen 5. So they decided uh, to nerf it for no reason? Yeah. Uh, Muddy Water hits both opposing Pokemon in double battles. In a triple battle, Muddy Water will only hit opposing adjacent Pokemon. Wow. In Generation 6, Muddy Water's power changed from 95 to 90. In Horde Encounters, it will target all opponents. Muddy Water will also destroy stalagmites found in the background in battles. But all yeah, right. Muddy Water is actually a really good uh, move. Um, it sounds honestly, like it. Honestly, that might be a permanent stay in the move list. Yeah. That might actually be a permanent stay, unless you need Waterfall. I have the um, item that makes it to where I don't need it. Oh, well then, yeah, that that might be a permanent stay in the move list. You know, it's it's uh, something you can use in place of Surf. Yeah, yeah. Because it is a water move. I'm surprised they didn't change it in uh, Gen 6, so it's a water and ground move. But... Well, Bill Nye's about caught up with the rest of the team now. He's level 36. Trying to get Steve a couple more levels up, and then it's time to start working on uh, our new buddy. Oh, dude, this fucker has a Tarantulum. That's badass. I want one. Tarantulum is awesome. It's fucking Gen 6. Tarantulum. Isn't it the... Uh... The dinosaur. The T-Rex. Oh, yeah. It's part dragon type. It's dragon rock. Yeah. It's it's Perfect. slow. It's fossil Fun fact, all po all fossil Pokemon are part rock type. That makes sense, considering. But yeah, Tyrantrum's fucking awesome. I cannot praise him enough. He's kind of kicking my team's ass right now with Thrash. Because fuck Thrash. Well, you, you, had, you had your own play with Thrash when you had, uh... Vileplume and Outrage for uh, Kingdra back in the old days. <laughs> back in the old days of the beginning of the playthrough. Yep. Who knows, this team might end up being even better than your uh, first region team. Yeah, it helps that I have two fucking pseudo-legendaries on it. <laughs> two pseudo-legendaries and two starters. Yeah. And actually, if you wanted to, you could have even, like, take took out, uh, you could have taken Marsh Stomp off your team, or Swampert off your team, and got Gibble, and then you would have had three pseudo-legendaries. <laughs> That'd probably be overkill at this point, and Swampert's been pretty good. You know what's funny? Uh, we're now at a point where you can have an entire team of pseudo-legendaries. Oh my god. The possibilities. Although, uh, you mostly have one major weakness, but... Which is not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not super great. Alright, so next time we can see heading down the mines and beating a bunch of neck fats. <laughs>